Okay, so after um, you're finished populating your classroom with all the classwork and assignments and you've started teaching, students have started submitting assignments and receiving grades. When you flip over to the grade tab, you'll notice that all the students uh, are listed on the left-hand side with an overview of their grade in the class and then also all of the different assignments that you've uh, given them at the very top organized by date. So you'll notice that if a student has submitted something and it's been graded, a mark appears. Um, if the student has not submitted an assignment, you'll notice that missing is indicated in that field. And then as in with Margie's case, as the test student, it looks like she's turned in everything on time so far. So she's not currently missing anything. Um, when you click on the three button icon on the right, um, and you hit return, you have the ability to return work to the student and that student will be notified and can check whatever grade you as the teacher have, have left them. I could also indicate here um, a private comment, great work, Margie. Here is your assignment back. And then I'm gonna hit return. So that will load. And then um, for the missing, when you click view submission, you'll see that this student has not submitted anything. That's why it's blank and has the missing statement. From the student's perspective, you can see any of the assignments or quizzes that have been returned with a grade by clicking on this here, which is open your work for STEAM 3D. It's the icon that looks like the person in a, in a bit of a box. And then when you come in here, again, it's this is all of your work to be done. But if you sort it by anything that's returned with grade, this option shows anything that is returned to you from your teacher and those that have been returned with a grade. So in this case, I have an assignment that was returned to me and here's my grade here and I can see the categorization and the do and the date it was due. I can see any comments here and I can further click here to view any details on that to see if there was any maybe class comments um, or any other information, more details on the rubric, etc. The other that I mentioned is you can see things that are returned here from the teacher. Here it was returned with a private comment. So I could actually read what the private comment was here. The second way that you can see any work that has come back to the student is to go into your option here, STEAM 3D or class, go into class work, and then you can click on the same button, view work, you could also see any of your assignments here, but I find that a little bit harder to, you'd have to sift through each one and find the different assignments that were graded, for example. So I like to do the view your work and where you can again come here and see anything that has been assigned or returned with a grade to see your grades.